and welcome to the number one podcast radio show tv show sports show in the world it's binge monster tv thank you for joining us i'm ashley lynn condre i am the bench monster and i got a new cup yes dan logman from the team got him this badass cup i don't know show the picture it's hard with the we'll show the turn around it says oh. bench till you bleed bench till you check bleed. out the picture it's got the infamous bloody pick on it how cool is that sunday bloody sunday pretty we were all there pick. pretty cool pretty cool I gotta watch my language yeah so really nice uh glossy sheen it's really nice yeah quite a few of these to drink out of now that's a really good so one. this is like one of, con- one of a one of a kind in that yeah. one the picture is really cool yeah that like, picture never really gets old cool. i like to nope like um try to one up it one day but uh, i don't know about blood pressure being that high ever again no that was my bad, my bad younger plan. days bad plan yeah. yeah um so lots to talk about we got halloween coming up uh what's Ooh. everybody doing for halloween is there trick-or-treaters in your neighborhood or is it still COVID scare um, and people put razor so. blades in people candy and they go to like those places that are controlled candy outlet trick-or-treat places? We don't have a pumpkin and we don't have any trick-or-treat candy. Are we getting trick-or-treaters this year on our block? Probably. few. We just gotta get candy, dude. I want a pumpkin. Well, that's not my fault you didn't take care of that. Hey, you're capable of getting a pumpkin too. In what free time? As it is, I got to go to the gym at like 9 30, 10 o'clock tonight. Well, after one in the we morning. We do all our errands after the show. Like when in the morning when I'm at work. Get up at four. It is not that important to me. Like I don't give a oh. flying F if we have a pumpkin. It's for the kids. If it's something important, I would get up early for it. For fishing, okay. I'll get up that early. For training, I've gotten up that early. Okay, so. For a pumpkin? Hell no. Okay, pipe down. There was a time, though, where I got up for toilet paper that early. Remember back in the original, like, when COVID first started and everybody was hoarding toilet paper did, and we, we went to, like... Fred Meyer. And it was... For, and I ran. You ran, like, and I didn't run. And it was the hor- most horrible thing I saw. People fighting over fucking toilet paper. I don't think anybody fought that day, but I, like, caught myself running. There were some I elbows. I saw the way people were taking it. It was horrible, yeah. Maybe those days will come again. Who knows? I never thought I would run. At 7 in the morning, too. It was really early. Hey, so the thumbnail for this week was Terrifer. How do you say it? Terra- Terra- terrifier. 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 I what? say Terrifier. I just say Art the Clown. Sense. Terrifier doesn't make any sense. We um we liked it. We were gonna go see Halloween Ends, but uh, Jamie Lee Curtis that. and that bullshit. We're still gonna see that. That is stupid. I don't stupid. care. We're still gonna. I know, see it. but it's dumb. They've probably taken it too far, but I'm they, going oh, to they see took it. it too far eight eight Halloweens ago. Okay, oh. so mm-hmm. I got on my uh, jailbroken Nvidia Shield. And I checked for Terrifier 2, Terrifer, whatever the fuck it is. And I found some links. You have to and use nice language. I know. What well, are my gymnasts on here? Oh. Hi, Jade. Sorry. So we got the Terrifier movie downloaded, the one part two, and it's two hours and 15 minutes, which is kind of shocking. That's a, that's a long movie. Um, but we sat down and watched it last night. Now, I didn't see the ending because I fell asleep because it, it was like one in the morning or something. We, yeah, we tried it two two nights in a row and yeah. we fell asleep. So I have not seen the ending, but I can tell you this: it is uh, they've one upped it from the first one and uh, gory, gruesome. Um, but I really don't it's think really terrible. Like they're kind of trying too hard, almost. Like... Yeah. Well, it's hard to beat the the first one with the girl hung up and the saw that went down so her in half. Be careful, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but um, there were some pretty nasty parts there were some in there. Pretty hard to watch parts. But I'm telling you this: this t- this. His name's Art the Clown, obviously, and he's a slow moving. And I saw him with his clothes he's not off. Very slow, he does. And he's he does. he's like a six foot three hundred, hundred and sixty pound. Actor, yeah, like he's just this little punk. dirty looking guy. Like, like I could take him. It's with full hilarious. pants behind like, my I back. I thought it was gonna be some old, like older, but it's just young, geeky looking guy, little, little skinny. Little Couldn't do a push up if he tried. But anyway, he's a psychopathic killer, and it was kind of good and gruesome, gory. But uh, apparently, um, it only opened in 900 theaters across the United States. Opening weekend, uh, net it's sales were at 1.7 million. They made some money, and did um, they really, yeah, they did. Wow. And because um, the first one didn't come out in theaters, no. I think they just Pe- kind of people were fainting, and then there was an actual ab- ambulance called for one movie theater. So with those type of reviews, I, that I want to see you're it. Gonna pass. I mean, like, it yeah, was you're bad, wimpy. but my, like, that's a little ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I was shouldn't Im- be watching. I was impressed though. It was, it was good for a slasher killer. How many different ways can you kill somebody? And even when they're dead, 
he still kills them again and again. Like pulls out their brain, and it was it was good. It's the really special effects, gory. and it's probably really... one of the more gory movies I've seen. I won't this say is, the goriest. Is, this but... is what Halloween movies should be right here. I mean, it, it, he's a he's a cool looking weirdo he's too. Scary, like he is scary. He does creepy, scary really well. Like, yeah. Um. Yeah. So if you don't, it's um, scary. you probably won't see it nightmares. in a theater near you. But if you can get a uh, Fire Stick, Nvidia Shield, Apple TV, Jailbreak it, um, pay for a ten dollar a month IPTV service. Um, you get all channels, all porn, all that good stuff, and um, you can watch whatever you want. Hey. I got something else to talk about. I got something in the mail I'm very excited about. This is pretty cool. I don't know what the name of it is. It's called a foam board. According to one rep Mex, it's a man pawn. And I don't know who can't man pawn. Why do you call it that? So basically it's a one board. Obviously, there's a one board. For bench pressing. Yeah, for bench pressing. And this is this foam isn't like um I mean two like oh. 185 pounds will probably you know go down to the board but regardless so this is a new uh benching apparatus we use jimmy kolb um has one he said he made his at uh, walmart got foam and a board and he uses it too so this was sent to me dimitrio sent this to me and it will get you sending us some of the coolest stuff one thing now i like to i like to protect and take care of things no matter if i buy them or people buy them for me this uh, can receive some serious wear and tear if the center of the bar, and a lot of bars that we have, the center has knurling. So uh, what I'm going to do is take some duct tape and tape the knurling in the middle if we're going to bring a bar to this board because obviously the, that uh, knurling will eat through this pretty easily, slamming it down on there. So this will be taken care of. This will not be left at the gym. God knows what some idiot uh, Gold's Gym member there might think of this or do with this. I have no clue. It's, uh, I don't know, like a pillow. Maybe they lay it on the ground and put their head on it and rest. I don't know. We will take this home and keep it safe. Thank you, Dimitro. And uh, thank you for a lot of things that you've sent so me. so generous. That's Theragun. I, it's insane, the amount of awesome And, cu- and, uh, and the, the Bluetooth cupping, elect- uh, battery-operated cupping tool. Dude, like, I am, I've been working on some spots, and, um, yeah, I'm excited. With the free sleeves, and I got a free sleeve blanket thing, too, man. I mean, ice. You know, I was just talking to Tiny Meeker the other day on the phone, and we were talking about recovery, and we were talking about icing, and we were talking about uh lifting and setup and uh, i don't mean to bounce around topics we just got a lot to talk about here we don't want to talk about the uh horror movie for too long but um yeah uh talking about setting up up a little differently and uh so I get, he gave me some advice i'm going to try it next tuesday and see if i can prevail by doing it because he, he um turned it into layman's terms when he was talking to me and i appreciate that make it super simple so i understand what you mean when you're telling me to do this and this this and he made it pretty clear so just a couple little tweaks I need to make. And um, and then the next thing you know, I might bench 1,100 or 1,200 or 1,300. Who knows? But like I told Tiny, I'm running out of time, man. I, I got to hurry up and figure some things out because I'm not getting any younger. Are you? Yes. I get Must be answer. nice. Okay. Uh, what else is going on? I wish I did. I need to. I'm getting old. Do you have any pictures of your Halloween party and you were what? Swiss Miss? Oh, I should have said. I was um, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. If Jade's still on here, Jade knows. We took second place in the costume contest, but everybody thought we should have taken first because we were Alice in Wonderland and we did And not a picture to prove from it. Oh, you should have asked me. I don't know if you... I I totally could have. Next week. Next week, we'll post some pictures from our... I'm pretty good if you send it. I can put it on here still. I, you know, I do. But I don't want to lose the internet connection and F it up and... Yeah, so maybe I don't we know should. If I can get it to where you. No, you have to stand up and put your hand behind it. Now you got a ring. That ain't gonna work. You have to put something behind it, and that's too small anyway. I'm kind of seeing. Now get it out of there. You now you get it away. <laughs> Done. It ain't working. I should. Well, you can kind of see. I can't you see can anything. See. I'm Alice in Wonderland. We got. We doubled up just like to make sure, um, you know, because we don't, you don't know who's going to show up. And so you want to make sure you have all the characters. So we doubled up on several of them. So there's two Alice's and two Mad Hatters and two everything's pretty much. Is there a bunny that wears a hat? Yeah. And, he, and he's like a drugger, like a druggy guy, right? He's bad. 
a drugger. And there's the cat. <laughs> there's the cards, and we had it all. Like we did amazing. Okay. It was really good. All the girls did an amazing job, and it just that's why we we won. We should have won first, but we won second. And everybody told us we hmm. should have won first because we were the best. The guy, the boys' team won first. Um, they dressed up as like real life heroes, like army, well, navy, uh, cops, teachers, all those kinds of things. And what took them over the edge is one of is one of the boys um, actually like built this whole uh, cardboard tank that was really cool. Like I when I, from a distance, I totally thought he like bought it, but I, we found out that he actually had made it. So that's what took them over the. Well, over the top to get first above us. I don't yeah. need a costume for Halloween because I'm scary enough as it is, right? You should be a Hulk. See that uh, well, where's the green spray paint? I'll do it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Get um, BJ yeah. Dirk was in town not too long ago. We went today? out. And ha- yeah. <laughs> he came by today. Stopped through here. We uh, had a little steak and uh, baked potato at the old Outback Steakhouse. And uh, talked some lifting, talked some old times, and... And uh, it was a good time. So I just got back from that, and my belly's full, feeling good. So I wanted to throw that in there. Nah, 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 that type of thing. So That's nice, hey, without me. Um, Not too much more to say about anything that I got on this table, so. No, just a, a pretty regular week. We we have a third, we have another member of our family. <laughs> not funny. We've got a third cat. You, I don't have any cat. I have two. Three now. No, no, we don't need. We're three trying cats. it. He's um, he's a stray cat that we've we've probably not heard feral, us talk about him. He's not stray. feral. He's belonged to somebody at some point because he's super loving, um, and we've been feeding him for quite a, a little bit before summer started. I we fed him all through summer. Mm-hmm. Feed him on the porch. I'm when, all for when that. Every time that we that we uh, and you the first time that we brought him in, you were all for that, but. Um, so like he greets us when we get home and gives us lots of love. Every time my silver Subaru would pull in, he'd, he'd come over every time we'd open that door, he'd come over. Um, and so all through the summer, it was all well and dandy. Um, but as winter is getting closer and it's getting cold and it's rainy, plus just the fact we've gotten pretty attached to him. So like I've gotten pretty attached to him. You have too, but um it, we we were I don't like, like long hair cats I like short hair anywho so he's a uh, we, cat, we brought but... it we we took him to the vet made sure he was neutered got you know got him tested got him you know examined got him shots took him in a while ago and um since he was an outdoor cat i f- and still he'd go to the door and i i i didn't want it to be such a like culture shock to have to like be locked in all the time. And so when he'd go to the door, I'd let him out. I thought that, you know, we got him his shots. I thought everything was okay. He ended up getting our other cat tank. Who's never been an outdoor cat. So he probably doesn't have a very strong immune system. He got him very sick. Remember we told you guys. Yeah. It cost me about really 300 sick. bucks. I paid for it too. So it wasn't that wasn't well, that's much. more shit, but, um, Watch your language and your attitude, all right? I don't appreciate it. Well, he got my cat and sick, so, almost died, so had 104 he, so he fever. Had, so he, we took him back outside, um, and so then he was outside again while we got our other um, cat taken care of and recovered. Um, and it, it's getting cold, and he, like, he, I felt so bad because, like, it's you could tell he was yet. wondering why, okay, why all of a sudden can I not come in, like... It was that one day you have to admit it was raining. He was soaked. It was the way it was cold. He wanted inside, and I know as it gets colder, it's going to be even harder. And I felt so, I was just feeling so guilty. So we took him to the vet again yesterday, got him checked out again, um, got him another shot. Um, you know, asked them what they th- if they felt like he was healthy enough now to be in, um, around our other cats as long as he was just an indoor so we're gonna try keeping him yeah. as just an indoor cat okay. um if he starts going crazy because he wants to go outside we're gonna have to stop it what? i let you talk all the time this is a little... you start telling long stories all the time that get me that lifting me related or yeah i'm not cat so okay fine i'm done then whatever we got him in the house and you got a 30-day grace period now if he does anything weird He's back out the door, right? We're, we're going to give it a try. And if he can't handle being only indoors, then we've at least we've tried yeah. and he'll have to go back out and stay out because it's we found out the hard way. It's got to be one or the other. It can't be both. 
I thought it was okay because we had got him the shots, but apparently, like, they can still get viruses from other cats and yeah, those dangerous ours, stuff. And we have we to don't keep need ours that. safe. Yeah, we have to keep ours safe. All right. So, hey, we have a new member of the family. Was my whole point. What's its name? Sam. Let's name him Art, the clown. Yeah, but I know we know him as Sam. He doesn't like, know that. He won't he, come he to does. That he comes. He does. He call, He comes to Sam. He just like, comes to your voice. He, he he does. We'll get home if he if he's not waiting for us when we get home, or or if I I want him to come, I'll go outside and start yelling, start like yelling his name in a high pitched voice. I go Sam, Sam. The neighbors probably are driven nuts and think I'm psycho. But he'll come. He'll come. Sometimes mm -hmm. he's down. Sometimes he knows he's gonna eat. All right, hey, let's get to some videos here. We got a lot to show, and you got some videos too. So let's not keep yeah. him waiting. That was a great Video story, time. and maybe you can have the cat down here in the show someday when he's all groomed and looking pretty. I ho I hope it works. I'm scared that he's not going to be able to handle being indoors. Yeah, but... Might not. Hey, first up, first video. Um, they send them to my email, and I tell you, I put them on the show. Good stuff to show. Up. Yeah. So so be it. So uh, first up, Drew Howard here. He's doing three fifty for eight reps. That's three five zero. For, no, 18 reps. No. Yeah. It's a little dark down here today. Holy cow. 350. He sent me two videos, and I want to put the best one up, and that was this one here, I thought. 350 for 18 I reps. And uh, just racking it out. As we know, uh, Drew uh, hit a 550 last week. Probably had another one in him. Of course, uh, goal is now probably 585, and then, of course, 600. He's working his ass off because the video progress that he sends me week after week, I like to know what bench program he's doing because it's sure as hell working. He's got those green um, cuffs on. I know a lot of people wear those. Is those the Larry Wheels ones? Maybe. Okay. I never wear them around my elbow. I, I wear them above. Uh, let's see. Jeff Minson sent Very me a nice video. Show. That was great. Super I think song. this was a, a kind of a, a critique video too. A lot of people send me videos and you know ask me to see if I see anything in there, and then we exchange a few words. And then uh, of course I want to post the video on the show because they want it on the show. I hope um, Jeff Minson here. It says uh, six seventy five reverse band press to a two board in a dark side Colossus bench band. It's five eighty five bar weight, ninety in chains, all at a two ten body weight. This is a kind of a home setup here. Self handoff. Playing with some big weights. Nice. Looking strong. And that's the Colossus bench band that I have also. That's the one that I keep telling people um, when you have between six and 800, you take the bar out with that and it dances. But you put 900 on there and then it sets in and it doesn't. It doesn't dance. It's an aggressive uh, bench band, but it's awesome. Uh, next up, we have Joel Hicks. He's in an F8 shirt, almost touching 510. He's eight weeks out from his meet. We need a backing for Joel. And I think this video, one of these videos is kind of blurry. I'm sorry. It's sent to me, you know, a lot of times it's an Android phone or something. So I get them. Sorry for the, the blurriness, but uh, we get the gist of what's going on. Not everybody has an iPhone or a Galaxy Pro or whatever, but great lift right there. Nothing but a little bit more weight, and then uh, then we start moving up from there, Joel. That's easy. Make Smoke show, easy, too. Cheesy. I don't know. Uh, is uh, Tesla come out with his phone yet, Mr. Uh, the guy who bought Twitter don't know. And, and flew to the moon or something and says we're all going to die soon? Um, Howard oh Weingarten. I think it's Howard Weingarten who sent me a video here. It's a 685 reverse band press to, to a half board. Got to put up a backing. Check it out. And I think this is Howard. It was in my email. Uh, Colossus shirt there. Elbows in the right position. Getting a good stretch of fabric across the chest. Just working it down. Working it. I love the elbow placement there. And spread that bar. Boom. Nice. Nice job, Howard. That looking good. Easy. Looking strong. Looking strong. Putting a good stretch on that shirt, too. That's what I like to see. I got to use mine next week. We had a deload, as you'll see, coming up. It's uneventful, and but we're going to show it. We'll talk mostly over it, tell some stories. Uh, AJ Roberts and one rep Max trained together, as we all know. Lucky lucky uh, one rep Max is. 
Um, AJ Roberts doing 475 raw and the, I called it the foam board. Um, one rep said the man pawn. And I will talk about that later. Um, Somebody explain. I know. Let's check out uh, AJ How? Roberts, 475. Looks like it sinks in, but I'm a, I suppose this happens. Foam board. Well, that's the idea. Isn't yeah. It? Uh, yeah. That's the whole idea. I wonder if we'll do it raw. Uh, the board. A, 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 raw, a raw weight or shirted weight. I'm not sure. What do you think? Raw. Raw. Yeah. It's, raw. it's a raw weight board. There's no point in putting a thousand oh, pounds on that. Oh, I thought you were asking what he was doing. I no, mean, I mean. Yeah, I don't know. A raw, raw, Just raw area. Raw I like it. On one rep Mex is doing 475 off the foam board. Let's check Ooh. one rep Mex out. I got him right here. Got that Mindy X Factor shirt on. Got a great pair of wrist straps. Locked and loaded with his feet. And I thought he had more in the tank. Good control there, one rep. At the top, on nice. down, yes. Nice. All right. Uh, pulled this off Facebook because I thought it was pretty cool. Jeff Johnson. Uh, Johnston is at the WPC Can-Am Championships doing a 683 bench, which, according to the uh, information in the post, it was three times body weight. So let's check out the uh, 683. Sorry for the blurry video. I if I if I cropped it, uh, it would have looked the same. So I said, well, why not? Why not enlarge it and just make it big? I figured him to be 227 body weight at if he's doing uh, 683, but I don't know. That's a lot of weight. Three times body weight bench. Uh, it made me stop and watch. Thanks. Says he tried a uh, six, uh, set, what did he try? A seven something and a 750, which were a no go. Jeff's a strong man and a great bencher. And um, this caught my wow, eye and I want to post it. I don't know what federation is the Can Am Championships, but. Uh, nice. Yeah. Lift. Boom. Nice. Light body weight too. Looks like an overkill shirt too, which nice. man, I just there's people that get lifts in that and can do it, and there's some that I just it wasn't me. Oh, this is great. Um, I gotta put a backing up for this. I don't know what's going on here, but somebody thought the it's two it's two minutes and twenty three seconds long. We ain't watching but about ten seconds of it. Um, this guy does hundred and six consecutive pull ups. I mean, who who in the house here knows what a pull up is and what a pull up Just looks like? Um, I don't know who what this sport has come to, but let's um, we'll watch a little bit of this. Uh, this just looks bogus to me. I I don't know what's going on here. Um, that is horse shit right there. I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. CrossFit. That's not a pull up. A, kipping pull up. a what? A kipping pull up. That ain't, that ain't a pull-up of any kind. But they call it a kipping pull-up. He needs to get his chin higher to even get credit in CrossFit, though. Well, hundred somebody's counting this as 100, 106. I, I, get I know. The, let He's me, not getting his chin above the bar. Hey, dude, you're dead. Get no. away from me. Okay, that, sorry. If he'd get his chin above the bar, then it would be legal in CrossFit. But I don't well, think, I thought he was going to you know, pull up a, a chin above the bar. Straight, this. CrossFits are, are kipping because you're trying to get as many as you can and... You know, at CrossFit, that's another thing that pisses me off. You know, we, we spent time in powerlifting through 26 years. I've been doing it. CrossFit comes along, and then two days later, they're on ESPN. What a, that's a crock of shit. CrossFit it, it's something that anybody can get into and be excellent at. Well, I wouldn't say excellent at. Well, they just run up their, and down, pick up some weights. Everybody and their grandma is yeah. doing CrossFit. Sorry. I wouldn't say they're good at it, but. Um, let's see. Oh, Cody Plum sent me a, a little Ooh, late Cody. video here, but he got nice. in on time. Nice. He's doing a 450 floor press straight weight. He's weighing 288.8 pounds, and, and it's the heaviest he's ever been. That could be good because weight moves weight. 450. A lot of speed behind this, too. Good control and a explosive out of the bottom. Boom. He's got some firepower wow, nice. and carry through. I was impressed. Noise. Yeah, way to go, Strong. dude. Good. 
I don't care really if it's good late. Coating. Nice job. It takes me two minutes to put it in in the system, crop it down, and all that good stuff. Nice. Wes McCormick, we know Wes. Sure do. West Side Lifter, nice. you know, kind of out doing his own thing now. Decided he was going to squat, and um, I saw some videos on Facebook, and I said, okay, I'm going to take one of your squats, Wes, and that would be 680 pounds to a box squat here. Uh, 30 pound all time PR, but he's using uh blue bands also, and that's the strong bands pulling down. Oh, pulling down, yeah, Holy not reverse band. So. Wes is a strong man, right there. Wow, that's crazy! Yeah, so that much weight plus the bands, plus the blue band. Jeez. And I don't know, they're usually choked on the uh, monolith, but they have the pieces of wood out so it's yeah remember i i overlooked it at west side and yeah the way they hook it up is it, it ain't no joke you're getting a lot That's of uh, band tension there joseph tumbarello i think has a meet coming up this weekend or maybe he already did it i don't know uh, apparently this was his last bench workout 600 for five reps and it told me he was five days out weighing 258 and uh let's check out joseph you know it's everyday business right here Joseph's going to hit 675 to 700. No doubt in my mind. Wish him all the luck. I don't know what federation he's going to do, but he's going to kick effing ass out there. So saith the bench monster. Looking strong, man. Here's another strong, strong. man. Tyler Butcher, I believe a three lift lifter. Uh, uh, caught one of his bench presses here because it's just it's just exciting to see an uh an, an a fate shirt uh do do these uh bench presses here with, with athletes wearing them here well uh, tyler butcher thousand five in a fate shirt to a two board and uh he just does it so easy build 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 and it's like a speed rep for this guy boop wow Holy cow. I, I, I think, I, I think 1100 for this kid. Oh yeah. He's a young man Size too. Limit for sure. And like I said, I uh, talked to tiny Meeker and he sent me some videos. So I kind of pulled some of the big ones out. And, uh, the first one we're going to watch looks like I had them not in order, but I do on here is a 1245. Yes. That's 1,245 pounds. And to me, it was a one board. So let's check out this big, bad mother effer. Great three-man handoff. That's a two board. I'm sorry. I got it backwards or whatever. And speed behind it. Nice. Beast. And Crocs. Nice. He Crocs, yeah. I don't, yeah. Whatever it works for you. Well done, sir. Next one, I believe. Well I hope I got these in the right order and they're not mixed up. Either way, it's 1,200. I mean... 1275 is what I got here. Maybe, maybe this is the, maybe this is the one. My ones look like twos sometimes. How? I don't know. I think this is, okay, none of them are one board. Sorry. This is a shit pot. This is what I need to be doing if I want to be in the runnings. Shit, Tiny. I guess Tiny uh, hurt his foot or broke his foot recently oh, no. or something he told me. It's not good. Yeah. So he's, uh, cause one of the videos he's like benching with one leg. So but yeah, glad to see he's back kicking ass. And I believe he wanted to do a meet out with uh, Jimmy Kolb somewhere, um, soon, but opted, um, because of the injury not to, I think. Okay. I hope I got that right. Or it just sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. Um, looks like it's, it's you. My Are chance. you ready for you? Yes. Okay. You do what you do, and you do a lot of squats. So you have two squats here. Yes. Talk us through it. Walk us through it. Where are we at? What do we got? Insert uh, ergo sleeves yep, that fit. fit. I finally found some that fit. Super excited about Looks it. Looks like three plates. Three something. Looks like me. Pregnant. I think it's 355. But I got some. I can increase my fiber. Okay, so how many reps? I think it's going to be a single. That's like 345. I done another one or two, though. It's Is that 355? Yeah, oh, well. 355, yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. Thank you. you got another one. You got a squat, too. Oh, this good. was the second one in line. And this is a triple. 320. What night was this? I think this was Saturday. Saturday. 
Yes. I believe you. 300 and what's the weight? 25. 25 now. Okay. Still got the ergo sleeves on, I see. Mm -hmm. Looks good. How many reps are we doing? Three. Triple. 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 Sure looks like it's nighttime there. It don't look very bright. I'm pretty sure it's daytime. Huh. I got a spot. Uh, what If something happens there, I just upright row that, I guess. The way I'm grabbing well, that, right? I, I, like, I, I can fight the any weight that I'm doing. It, like, if something happened, unless, like, something blows out completely. then Yeah, then you're going down. But if I just miss it, I can stay with it and help if you can right. just kind of help. That's me. why I'm there. Like... Uh, there's there's some people that like as soon as they fail it they just kind of dump it and they're done and that's like when yeah, you, don't dump it you can't i mean you can't do that because your spotter is going to really be at risk and yeah, so I don't any wanna be weight at risk. that i'm doing i sh i shouldn't fold and not be able to keep helping yeah. i can kind of keep okay good as long as you can take a few pounds off it all right okay bench press this is my sport let's see what you do here what are we doing here one plate ten Two? I think this is the duffalo. Yeah, this is the duffalo bar. Oh, yeah, I handed it off for this. How much weight? 135, 45? 70. 70? Yeah, because the bar is 55 55, pounds, yeah, right. So 170 for doubles. Pretty good with that duffalo bar. I haven't benched it with that bar That's in a while. That's the real one, yeah. That's the real duffalo bar. That I know. You don't got to rub it in. <laughs> I just have to clarify. It's the one with the bigger Yeah, that was looking strong. Heavier. Thank you. I don't even think I'm flexible to go down with that bar. So I don't want to pop a peck out of line here. Okay, we got a deadlift here. Looks like it needs a backing. Looks like you're at a garage somewhere, I, I like think. Cromer's, yep. Cromer's garage. Let's check out your deadlift Reverse here. Reverse band, yep. You got the weights in it this time. Yep. You got some band assistance there. Yes. And I, it says a double because I watched so it. It should be about 418 at the top, not at the bottom. 418 at the top. Or four, what did he say? No. Can't remember. It's heavy. Yeah, it's like axle right. bar too, which makes it not yep. much easier. No, there's no bend, yeah. Double overhand with straps, of course. But... So. Hmm. Yeah. Is that your gig? Yes. So you're a boxing, powerlifting, strongman person. That is excellent to see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get into Working some disappointing. Uh, well, it's not disappointing, but. Uh, max effort speed bench videos as you know we deloaded so this it's not going to be exciting but the next two weeks let me tell you i'm gonna kill something yeah i'm due uh i'm on a mission where the fuck are you going yeah i forgot you hadn't put it on yet. yeah i put speed bench on just takes off leaves me here every time i've seen it i'm there live i can just do yeah, i'm glad, I'm glad you got caught that's disrespect to this audience right here that shows up no, it's just disrespect and wants to, to see you and well, us. No, it's going to go on. And like they want gonna us go on to all experience the speed bench and you just up and leave. You got caught it's red handed. It's only disrespect and I'm, to you. So. It's, I'm glad you got caught and you're embarrassed. And you should be. Kind of. Speed bench. Let's check it out. It's still here. Yeah. They can't hear it until the music goes down. All right. Looks like we got double uh, monster mini. No. Mini bands. And we got fat grips. Demetrio sent me some fat grips. These are kind of like the small, medium, large type of thing. These are like medium ones. And we used them. I don't, uh, Dan is using a three board because he's got a rotator cuff issue. We don't know if it's a bone spur or a slight tear. We're protecting it till the MRI is produced. Hines was here. We went three weeks or I went three weeks over a thousand pounds in training on uh three Tuesdays in a row. So. I am pretty beat. Front delts are a little tender. And boy, were they Tuesday night. Oh. 
Chris getting in on some action here. I believe we did five sets of five. We have a meet coming up soon, uh, about 12 weeks out. We will start uh, the close grip, nine sets of three, 10, 12, 14 sets of three type of workouts. Right now, we're just doing some repetition scheme stuff. Fives, uh, sometimes I, I do nine sets of six wide grips. Kind of an off-season type of training. You know, a lot of times, do the west side, six by six, eight by eight, 10 by 10. Sometimes Meatball, Mike Lupacek, writes us up a raw, a raw speed bench routine with a lot of repetitions. And um, we always try different things. It's not going to hurt us. I'm all game for anything. I'll do anything on speed day. But if it affects the max effort day and it affects everybody, it's out of, out of, the, out of the boat. Get overboard. So... It's easy to me for you to use age as a crutch and say on Tuesday, well, I'm, I'm getting old. And but if my whole team is suffering, then I know we all did something on on um, Friday here, which is Speed Day, that uh, in that laid us out for max effort. So here is uh, Chris Logman's favorite press. I was looking to redeem myself here because he got me the week before. I thought, well, you know, some tricep movements, we can do two two workouts in a row and, and then drop it. So we all started with two plates, obviously. Chris went up to five plates for one. Yeah, we're supposed to do our five sets of five, a five rep max area here. But sometimes it turns into a competition and it leads us astray. So using uh, hands right next to smooth. It feels good there, but it's still, I don't like it. This isn't my exercise. Used to be back in, uh, I don't know, 1997. Used to be really good at it. Pretty easy for Heinz there. All right, let's jump to four or something. Three plates and a quarter. Try to find that little spot. Oh, not there. Is it there? Oh, that bar is like an inch out of line. It is not working. And that's about all I had right there. I Not my gig. Lines. Looks good. Pretty easy, actually. Um, Dan Logman here, three plates and a quarter. Love that fat pad, though. All right, trying to be macho gracho here. Four plates. Uh, I just don't know what's up, man. I I, I fucking, it pisses me off. I just, it's not there. I don't know, dude. What? Why that's pinning me to the ground. I, I don't know. Get off your phone, asshole. God. All right, Dan Logman, four plates. Get off your phone. You bumped it. Dan kicking some ass here with four plates. It's just that little movement at the top. Looks like Chris here with four plates from another planet. Yeah, he's moving at a few inches less than we are, but still, I'm impressed. Plays with it like a toy. I'm coming back because I don't like it. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna try you one more time. I don't care. I'm gonna fight it till I die. Oh, still hard. I am not. I'm defeated there. Heinz four plates and a quarter. Jesus, two. Does he have five in him? 
three. He's working here. Oh, spot welded. Happens. Chris Logman with five four ninety five. What the shit? Oh, look at him go. Hey, one's good. That's crazy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice job. Good for Chris. him. Pines is going to be uh, trying to be a champion here. A little competition going on, as you can see. Oh, 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 spot welded. It happens. But a late entry. Jose came in an hour after we were done. Jose with five plates. Two. Three. Four. There you go. Five. Holds it for a while. Good for you, son. All right. So we went back over, got this uh, axle bar, 25. We got two or three of my chain on there. Love extensions. It's just like push downs, but harder. Fat grips, football bar, all those. Yeah, my chains are no joke, man. Looks like about half of my chain deload onto the ground and half of them stay on the bar. So it's, it's tough. You got to push yourself, though, when you're doing triceps, you know? There you go. Plate. Got the big clips on there. Oh, that's a lot of weight at the top. Up, oh, yep. Try to bring it down to your head. That really puts a stretch on the elbows, I know, but oh, yep. no pain, no gain. Do I do this at all or do I just take video up? Oh. Pop a pump here. See, you bring that bar to your head like that. You got to grit your teeth a little bit. Get my mouthpiece on these. And yes, we do push downs. Just stack it because it's a dual pulley. So it may say 200 on that pin down there that we push it into, but it don't feel like 200. Did you turn that mic off? Chris here doing some slow. I don't think it's hard for him. He, well, he kind of spin himself for all those presses, but this is the end of the workout. Just trying to get the last bit of oomph out of our triceps before we walk out that door. I believe we skipped a shoulder. If anything, we would unside delt raises or something, but not a pressing, overhead pressing movement of any kind because of the hell and torture that will come this Tuesday. Looking forward to it, too. I don't know why I videoed so much of uh, the push down stuff, but and I know there's 95 people out there saying I'm doing these wrong. My, my elbows should be at my side, and I just do them just to do them. All right. Uh, max effort, pretty boring max effort, if I do say so. You gotta deload sometimes. You gotta deload sometimes. You can't keep going a thousand pounds every week because eventually you fall uh, uh, on your face. And that's um, kind of what we did. We did a lot of uh, board pressing, and that's basically the same movement. And Louis uh, always preached the law of accommodation states to do the same workout 90% or above. With uh, for three weeks, you will go backwards. And on the third week, we kind of were starting to go backwards, but I, um, uh, I, I prevailed, I think I did. I worked up to a thousand, at least it sucked, but let's see what we did on this max effort workout. If we want to call it that should be called D load workout. So you walk in here and the plan is two plates to three plates, you know, and it's just 
Just reps. Just uh, not a lot of pressing here. Just getting some blood in there. Saving up for uh, two weeks of ball-busting workouts. Dan here, uh, still using the three board, protecting that shoulder. This right here, I realized that my front delts were very tired. Like I'm, I'm pressing here and my front delts are saying no, no. And, and it just starts to slow and I'm like, uh, I feel that. And I'm shaking my head, nope. I think I went down and did some other things here as you'll see. Even Jose went up to four plates. He usually snaps that out for five pretty easy. But even he was a little peppered. But then again, Jose went over a thousand pounds. Uh, 900 to 1,000 pounds the last few weeks in, in his workout. So Dan here with three plates. We used to come in on a, a deload workout and do a four or five board with uh, 180 pounds of band tension and still push up and max out that way because you're only moving it uh, six, seven inches up there. But uh, this one here, I decided to do my old school method and that's very light. This is not what something we would do here. I think Jose wanted to try it and test it, and he found out one, and this is unlike him right here on, on the second one. He's uh, His mind is rethinking things because he's a little shot too, and he told me he was, and he doesn't have to tell me. I decided to do some close grip, but realized I shouldn't be going full range anymore and opted to use the board next for a few uh, lockout things at the top. Just simple stuff here. 315, not using a lot of front delt, just a kind of a lock out there. Just thought it was a good idea, the board was out. Uh, decided to uh, alleviate any uh, elbow pain for the night here, and these uh, inverted kickbacks are just the method. Absolutely no elbow pain here. But one thing I do not like about this exercise is back in the day, I used to turn my back and Heinz would have 80 pound dumbbells swinging them like a swing set. And uh, that's not how you do it. And I told them, I said, you, when you push out, you flex and hold it. In order to do that, it's 25 to 30 pound dumbbells. It really is. Try it sometime. Lock your back in and the um, only thing that moves is the uh, from the elbow there to the, to the fist and try to flex those heads. And see, uh, Chris is pointing at one of my immense tricep heads over there. <laughs> Actually, I got this weird squiggly vein that runs across the back of my triceps back there. It looks like a night crawler. That is an earthworm to you, um, where you live maybe. Fishermen call them night crawlers. Um, okay, Dan's doing them. Dan needs a little coaching here, so I step in because all the arms are moving. And I'm like, okay, hey, do this, do that. And there he goes. Fixed it. It's a little harder, too. But he quite a few sets of these. This was going to be a real limited workout, so... And right now, a lot of the conversation amongst ourselves there are what, what is our plan for the next Tuesday? What are we going to do? What's the plan for the following Tuesday? You know, we're kind of going over some ideas. Should we go, should we bring in some shirts and should we touch? Should we go balls to the wall um, on a board? Should we decline? Should we floor prep? You know, this, this type of lifting talk. I uh, wanted to do some more uh, triceps, of course. So I thought I'd break out the uh, football bar of mine and do some extensions with them. Love that bar. I have another one too that uh, was uh, bought for me by Dimitro and I'm gonna bring it into the gym. It's a football bar with a camber in the middle. I wanted to emphasize at the top of the lift here to fully extend the lockout not short stroke it. So at the very top, I kind of press to lock it out the last little bit. Full range of motion lift. And I believe we just ended with some push downs. Pretty simple workout. 
not 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 exerting a lot of energy, letting the body prep up and heal for uh, what's to come. And believe you me, I want to have a great Tuesday and the following Tuesday. I'm going to go all out. And after seeing Tiny Meeker in the mid twelves, that uh, you know it t- tells you something. Thousand pounds ain't shit. Yeah, Jimmy Kolb, thirteen twenty. I hear you guys out there, but an eleven hundred or close to twelve hundred bench would be pretty cool for this kid. And we are back. We are back. Ashley, you got to go over here to this chat box here and tell me what's box. going on. We got one rep max in here first. Good night, guys. How are you? Good. Hey, good. one rep. We're doing good. How are you doing? Glad to have you here. Always a pleasure. And Mary. Mary. Mary ask you. Good to see you, Mary. Missing ya. Howdy, guys. How did your week go? Went pretty good. Pretty good. Hope yours went good, too. Pretty good, How'd yeah. How yours go? Good to see you. Glad you could make it tonight. Always a pleasure. BJ. BJ. <clears throat> we were just cutting into some top sirloin no 16 see. ounce at uh, Outback. That must be nice. Blue cheese salad Rubbing and a little brown in. bread too. You know, it was good. Rubbing it in. I think it's still in here too. Good to see you. Yep. Glad you're here. CJ. Hey, CJ. Glad What's you could up, make CJ? it. CJ, hey, we... everybody. Hope everyone is having a great week. CJ, Hope you are too. we need some deadlift videos. CJ. Miss ya. It's good to see you, CJ. And then I have it's Jade. Jade is one of my gymnasts. It's Jade Road to eight hundred. She's got her own channel and she's trained to get what's what's she doing? Eight hundred followers. She's one of my gymnasts. Super cool. Super wonderful. She's got a YouTube channel. Lady, she does. Oh well. She was asking the other night why I always leave. Um, early on thursday, thursday nights and i explained um that it was because i had my podcast and she went and checked it out immediately told me that today and then is checking out checking well, it out again tonight i don't how, know if she's still on how but... old is jade i'm not sure i'm sorry for cussing jade i i know we... i i get excited and things just come out of my chap i'm not actually not I don't mean to exactly cut in front of sure kids, how, but how, um, when I make this up, she's I one of, she's one, I mean, she's... I put that it's not approved for kids. I do click that button because if I don't click that button, you know what happens? There ain't no chat box. I know, I know, but no, so, we're glad she can make it. Um, I, I was just checking out her. I just subscribed to her channel um, also. So uh, I was going to, I was starting to comment on some of hers. I don't know mm-hmm. if she's still in here. If you are, okay. Jade, I'm super Super happy you made it. That's awesome that you're checking it out. Good to have you here. An awesome work tonight. Killing it at practice. Real cool girl. Really cool young lady. Thought that was really cool that she went and checked it out as soon as yeah. I told her. I, I think it was like Tuesday that we were talking about it tonight. She's like, I checked it out. Just us. Yeah, really cool. So. Riff and raff. <laughs> Very cool to have you here, Jay. Thanks for making it. Hope you're having a great week and a great night. Um, Paul Lawfer. Hey guys, how's it going? Doing going good, Paul. Good. Hey, Paul. How's your joint <laughs> doing, Paul? I know a lot of the stuff we do beats up our joints and stuff, but uh, um, I have to uh, say that the third week of um, going uh, above a thousand pounds, um, let me tell you something. Like for the past week, um, I I feel it. Um, I I don't think it's just old age for me, but um, just shoulders, just everything, man. That that wear and tear of uh and adrenaline and ups and, oh it's crazy man but uh i don't know if you deload and and uh that stuff paul but uh once in a while it's good to uh just cut back let everything just uh re reset yeah C- cns and gotta all that cover gotta stay healthy glad glad you made it here paul going pretty good going pretty good hope things are going great with you you're having a good week showbit jane how's it going bench monster fam it's going Going good good. hey showbit glad you can make it good always good to have you guys here joe joe hancock cool cool i'm not sure what that was who's playing football right now i didn't quite see when that came in so i'm not sure which part that was i'm sure there's a game over with regarding but good to have you here joe cj morgani tape 
the board, not the bar. I was kind of thinking this thing. Yeah. Tape that board. I'll see. Well, yeah, I guess we could put. Yeah, some tape. you just you just would want to kind of do a uh, like a wide. Okay. Area of it. To kind yeah, because it, it would just have to remove it all the time. But I just want to protect this uh, this fabric here. You know, that little knurling strip pounding in there is going to, I don't know. I just don't want to wear in a, a hole into that or something. So tape the board. Get some heavy-duty, um, uh, not duct tape, but some type of heavy-duty construction duct tape or something. I'll put it on there just to protect it. I want to have it forever, just like everything. And I know what I'm talking about because Ashley has seen my truck. Oh, every everything that he had, like he he is almost to like a weird. Yeah, he's like afraid to use stuff. Like you might not. I I would be willing. I mean, I'll use things. I think he'll use it because um, Demetrius sent it to sent it to. It's him not Demetrius. It's Demetro. Demetro, I'm so sorry. Demetro. Um, is that right? Yeah, Dimitro. Um, sent it to him, and he really appreciates it. So I do think yeah. he he will use it. It'll be a raw. But there are some things he's genuinely afraid to use, just because he doesn't want to get the wear and tear. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. no, you don't want the wear and tear, but it's also there's not much point in having it if you're not going to use it. Like That's his true. new car, you can probably count on two hands how many times he's driven that new car. Well, I got cars. Why buy a car? I got if you four are automobiles. Never going to so drive it ever. Ever. I want a car for each I've, day of the I week. I can count on one hand how many times I've been in it. I want one of those new how Teslas too, it. but I I don't really like that Elon Musk guy too much. I've been watching some of his YouTube stuff. He's like he's a weirdo. Okay, uh, Howard Weingarten. Howard, the man pond was coined by Dave Tate at Westside. He used half a swim noodle, and they called it his man pond. Well, yeah, it's like a tampon, but it's a Why? man pond. I don't know. I was wondering. It's kind of weird. It's cute. Cute name. Jack in. What the F is that? What are we looking at? That was a pull ups. That came oh, the pull ups. Pull -ups. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Those aren't pull ups. That is, uh, that's, he wasn't impressed. That's stupid. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why they're he CrossFit pull ups. They weren't even like to CrossFit standards. He wasn't even getting his. Come above the bar. Nothing was above the bar. Yeah. He was no. just undulating. Yeah. Matthew Brooks. What's up, y'all? What's up, Matthew Brooks? Good to have you here, Matthew. Hope you're having a great week. It's good to see you. Um, John Elick. Elick, dark side in the house. Ooh, ooh, nice. Good to have you here, John Elick. He also is, he wants to let everyone know the Colossus shirts and Benchmans are back in stock. Don't forget to use code BENCHMONSTER10 on your order. There you Definitely go, people. Save some, save some money. Go check that out. They're back in stock. Go oh, I'm gonna go check it out cool. and see what the what he has over there. For sure. For check sure. him out. He's got stuff in stock. He's got some things back in stock and got some great products. So definitely go check that out and use code Benchmonster10. Good to have you here, John. Yeah. Always awesome to have you here live. Live. Yeah, it's awesome. Howard Weingarten, thanks Ryan for the spread the spread the bar. More advice. I'm working on it more during speed day. Yes, that was me doing 685 to half board. Thanks for showing it. I knew it was as soon as you You're welcome. I, a lot of people, when they send me stuff, I have to remember who they are by their e email name, like Mighty Duck. And um, I, and I'm just like, some of them I get wrong. And I've, I've done that before. So, but I'm pretty sure now, and I've committed to memory that Howard Weingarten's email is, is Mighty Duck. Oh, is that? Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. I can see what you CJ Morgani just checked it out. The Colossus knee wraps are back in Whoa. stock too. Ooh. You know, we were talking about knee Go wraps and uh, getting you one of those knee wrap rollers. Has anybody looked for those online to see how much they cool. want for those things? I, I mean, come that. on. Oh, are they really expensive? Does it have anything to do with the high gas prices? I'm confused because uh, Demetra was asking about them and, and I said, yeah, they're like 50 bucks. And I went and looked at one. It was $300 for one of these stupid ass um, knee wrap rollers. Like, what's the hell? I mean, if I had any knowledge in um, bending metals and welding, I could probably make one. But yeah, a couple of those I looked at were over a hundred bucks. Just to, but you need one. You need one for wrapping your knee wrap nice. super tight. Like, I would... No, it wouldn't be nice. It's an advantage. I mean, it'd be cool. 
But take, I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind like. Rolling don't look down myself, and play on your phone. Cool. Put that your emphasis cool. on the chat box I and this know. camera. This is your audience here, I not know. there. I know. No, you don't know because you're doing it on purpose. I was, com- I, was com- I was commenting on Jade's. Stuff, I know. It, she made it on There's ours. a time and a place, and now it's not that time. I know, but when am I going to do it tonight? Immediately after this, we got to go drop my car off at the auto shop to get it fixed yep. from some jerk yep. backing into me. That's right. And then we've got to go to the airport to pick up my car. Co- rent a car. My rent a car. Five days, you're going to be carless. And then. Go to the gym. Go to the gym still. Do some biceps tonight. So. Hey, this is life. That's how we roll. So I'm just saying, when are we going to have time to do anything Midnight. Else? Um, T. Pressifer. T. Press, T. Pressifer. Well, Ryan, you know what Louie would say. If you suck at the exercise, get to work. You know, I know. I want to get better at it because I suck. I really do. I don't know. Um, I kind of want to go in there when nobody's around and figure out, because I should be able to do 600 freaking pounds on that thing. But for some reason, I'm I'm it is just like destroying me. That little bit close grip. I don't know why. It's mind boggling me a little bit. And I know that you. I mean, one time I wasn't using my legs. I was just using all upper body. So I kind of winged up and set up and pressed with my feet. But um, damn, I'm I'm missing something there. And I'm I need to find out what it is. So I should be doing five, five plates for five reps easy. So. Hell yeah, I'm not going to let that thing go. But we did it two weeks in a row now, so we kind of got to drop it. That's the longest length I like to run any type of assistance exercise is two weeks and switch. All right, Howard Weingarten. Howard, Mr. Elick, I was wondering if you could or are you able to make an insert for a person who already has a four-ply colossus shirt? An insert for a four-ply colossus. I think it could be done. I know my shirt has a uh, insert. Probably. But I don't know. I don't he's, make shirts. He's I still on me. Oh, he did he, down down there. Okay, he we'll did. get to it. He did answer that for Howard, so we'll get to that here in just a second. Show a bit. Show a bit. Jane, Ryan, what's your take on Larson Press? Uh, I I was well. We I didn't call him Larson's Press back in the day. An individual by the name of Greg War would uh, bench uh, would do uh, his bench presses with his feet up on the bench. And that's what um, I would do. I would um, put my feet up on the bench and and just lay flat and bench. But so then you can kind of put like you can push. You can, and cheat. but you're not supposed to. But yeah, Larson so press. There's no there's no hand. cheating when you're straight out. That's why. I would. Um, a great exercise, I would assume. Very hard. There's absolutely zero leg drive oh, it's involved. So much harder. So my feet all twitch and they want to like do one something. one thing though. Um, I remember when I was benching with my feet up one time. I was kind of showing off a little bit. I put 315 on there and I was cracking it out and actually uh, slightly tore my pec, laying flat as a pancake and, you know, had the elbows out and went down flat and uh, that- So it's because you're lying, not because My line. Yeah, well, I was laying flat and I was just, you know, doing this and did it wrong. So, but phenomenal exercise. No, I take nothing away from it and it has its place uh, in your raw training, I would suppose. Not much uh, shirted. Uh, carry over there but um i definitely would raise your raw bench i'm all for it and it does that but you know me though i like to add bands chains and uh i like to do it with a football bar an axle bar you know different bars or uh you know something like that uh what's next cj morgani the crew and miss ashley all looked super strong this week thank you cj thank you cj morgani appreciate it I think I think our max effort exercises uh, the next coming weeks will be um, fun and eventful, and we should uh, be seeing a lot of weight on the bar. So uh, I, I know Heinz; he's he's over a thousand when he go, you know, goes off boards, regardless. But uh, Jose has just jumped up there now, purchased a shirt from me, and uh, he has no problem with a thousand in his hands either. So um, we just got to work everybody down to touching. So. I've, we, I've relayed that message, and I think that's one of our exercises we're going to do is touch in a shirt, and that's where you leave the 1,000-pound uh, ego at the door and open with something you can do on your deathbed and find your opener is what we're going to try to do and some shirts and get used to coming all the way down to the bottom and pressing up. So, yeah, it's fun to do a two-board two, a two board press and do all this big weight, but uh, there's a lot between two-board in your chest and at back up. So further here, it's further there. So um next my deadlift work is boring to watch (laughs) haha it's great building strength just not entertaining 
I did do 485 Bellas from a 7-inch deficit for fun the other day. Good night. Oh, that's impressive. That's crazy. Yeah, 7-inch deficit. Hey, buddy, that's, that's crazy. Like, yeah. that's a, that, the, isn't that, um, seven inches, the bar is like below your feet almost, isn't it? I mean, below your t- uh, deficit. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, that's a long pull, dude. Yeah, yeah. that's a really long pull. John Elick is replying to Howard. What did he say? We're down here howard i don't make any specific insert for that yet however you could use an assassin band underneath it should have the desired effect yes okay okay there you go howard so there's a, a tip for you and he did say yet so he didn't have it yet but as he talks about down here he's always innovating cj morgani miss Mill spec, cold water cable, and pipe yep. wrap tape. That's the best tape ever. Yeah, that's a thick tape, I believe. I believe it's black, if I'm not mistaken. Or I might be wrong. I think it's that real thick stuff. Um, I've seen it before. I've used it before in other applications, if we're talking about the same thing. But I will Google that and get an image on that and see if it's uh, the same thing we're talking about. And, uh, yeah, just throw something on there to protect that. Because I've seen tape on a couple of those, and I don't know if they're putting tape on there because they're already ripped or something. Yeah. I saw somebody using one somewhere on the internet, and they had pieces of tape on it, and it made me think, well, they probably, uh, the Nerlings probably ripped it or something. I just, I want to have it for a long time, so. I know, I'm not sure. John Elick. I mean, it would probably be easier to do this. Otherwise, you're going to have to tape and untape the bar every time you use it. Which, Just leave the fucking tape on there. (laughs) There's that. John yeah. Elick, read. I'll break him. Yeah. Break him. I'll read. Put him down right now. John Elick. Part. What would you say if I was able to make a shirt stronger than the Colossus? Stay tuned. I never stop innovating. Stronger than. Wow. Well, I don't know. Where the bench press is going now, thirteen hundred pounds. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I mean, cool. yeah, that's crazy. I wonder how many. Um, only reason I know this is because of uh, Mike Womack's bench daddy. He sent me one one time that I that he didn't he didn't really listen to me what I wanted, but uh, it showed up and the end of the sleeve was like this round, and I couldn't get it over my elbow, so I took a Dremel to it and cut it and uh what i found inside was a bunch of um small circular little bands like um so i wonder if they make um those little circular bands inside bigger or um or some of them oval instead of i don't know but you got my mind spinning so i don't know if that's how you make a stronger elastic shirt by changing the diameter and dimension of the little rubber bands inside i don't know i don't make shirts so it's out of my world C.J. Margotti. Green roll. Used to use it while, while drilling. Green roll. green roll, not black roll. Okay, green roll. Okay, I'm going to have to look at this at the hardware store. Hope it's something that uh, I can find easily. and Because um, I will not need it probably till. Uh, yeah, we're going to use it soon. I can tell you that. So, All right. Howard Weingarten. Where's that? I gotta Thank write you, that Mr. Down. Elick. I will be trying that band and looking very much forward to Dark Side, Dark Side's future. Wow. Yeah. I mean, a shirt stronger than the Colossus. How cool would that be? Like you said, he never stops innovating. So, what are we gonna see next? What's you know, lots of things. Like you said, like he said, looking forward to Dark Side's future because I think. Oh yeah. It's just gonna keep innovating and creating and sky's the limit that's what equipment manufacturers do i mean inzer i mean look where he came from glass shirt to a poly double poly and then he got into the what denims and then rage x's and then phenoms and you know band shirts the same i mean uh, the people who manufacture and make the band shirts are always working on a bigger and better you know shirt and um that's the ticket to this business john never stops never stops always thinking i bet yes some of our Just greatest ideas come out of the blue and... somewhere like, whoa, I never, th- I have to write that down or, or uh, anytime I have a great idea and I'm out doing something and I, and I, I write it down. A lifting idea, training idea. I'm always constantly thinking, you know, as a coach, different ways to uh, use the same apparatus, you know, different angles, different resistance, 
different grips, uh, on and on, different uh, speeds and so forth. So, show bit. No. No? Well, I'm just, Johnny Lick. I just looked looking down. Looking forward to seeing you guys use that hanging band setup I showed you. Yep, and yeah, you've got the and uh, Dimitro uh, se sent us the um, uh, the yeah. all the stuff for it to set that up. So, um, and probably knowing my guys, they'll want to do reverse band. So I got a hold of uh, Dimitro and then sent me a video on how to hook up the lifting strap that he sent me and the smaller bands, and um, it's uh, in the woodworks. Yes. Why are we spinning over there on our camera? Oh. I saw we were like stuck. I don't know. Hopefully we weren't. Come on. We, we got Zipply fiber here. We shouldn't have problems oh, with the internet Zipply. anymore. I'm paying for a gig a month here up and down. Come on, people. All right. Yeah, reverse band. We like that. Yeah. Except except the last That's time we did it. Um, like I said, I had a I had it hooked up the way we've always done it. But lo and behold, Canelli turns his back and they raise up that that uh the lift the safety apparatus rack that comes out that we have the band hung from they raised it up another i don't know how many holes and i've told this time and time again but i was like well how much um assistance is that and we used the uh the f8 bar and uh, we put a 100 pound plate on each side that's 255 pounds Heinz took it out brought it down to his chest and was down here at the bottom let go of it and it was floating right on his shirt so we don't Why need do you let go of it just to see if it was how much um, weight it took just to Jeez, get to the wonder. chest. So we don't need 255 pounds because, oh, yeah, we have my guys putting 1,300 on there to do 1,000 or something. <laughs> don't need that. <laughs> I don't want to see an arm break again yeah. under under my not watch. Yeah, yeah I want, we're all over each other now, too. No, Anytime somebody takes out any weight, you know, a big weight, and it comes out, and their wrist is doing something funny or they're coming down weird, and thank God for me, when I'm handing off to, like, Heinz, I look right over him, and I watch elbows, wrists, constantly watching down. And um, if I see anything that looks goofy, take it. And when I say take it, it's like 911. We take it. So, anything else? Keep everybody safe. That's number one priority. Yeah, I don't have a lot of people on our crew here. We can't afford to lose anybody, so. No, and just, you never want to see anybody get hurt. We care about all the people that we live with, and you want to see everybody safe and healthy above all else. That's right. Shobit Jane, thanks for the insights, Ryan. I'll experiment with them for some time. You're welcome. I'm not a fountain of misinformation. I throw out things there that can help. Um, You guys know this email? Maybe you've never seen it. Well, that's how you get a hold of me, and that's where you send videos. Like I say, you want them on the show? Please send them. Everybody's got their camera phones and their camcorders and everybody's filming this and filming that. No matter it is what you're doing, it's always important. And we love to showcase it on the show. Makes my job easier because when I search and surf for stuff, I sometimes find things that aren't lifting related that, uh, man, that I got to talk. I like the pull-up guy. I mean, oh, I wanted to put that on here. I just didn't know what the hell I was looking at. I've done a pull-up before. One time I did nine pull-ups. No way. Yeah, at a lighter body weight. I was going to say, what? 30 years ago. Skinnier, yeah. They always have it out at the fair. You know, the the, the marine uh, little area they have there for a booth they have set up. And they fair? always have at the local fair. Fair, yeah. Yeah, they have the, the marines usually have their little booth set up. And they have a pull-up bar. Oh. And it's just like the place where they have uh, at the fair when they have the sledgehammer and the bell. Oh, everybody wants to go out and show them that you're Mr. True Tough stars. Man. Yeah. But uh, pull-ups, yeah. I well, can't so do hard. I can't do any right now at 325 pounds. It's all upper body. Do one. I'll spot you. I don't want to do them. Remember that time I tried one in that little uh, garage gym and I tore my lat? No. Yeah, I was what, doing what them you... down at the garage muffler shop. Oh, you did? Yeah, I jumped up there and I, I was just doing it fast. One, two, and then I came down to the second one and I went, oh, had a little, little tear there. Yeah, it's embarrassing. <laughs> I had good speed, but yeah, fucked myself up. All right, where are we at? Matthew Brooks. When I broke my arm, oh. it was because I had an undiagnosed stress fracture and it broke in half uh, as soon as I got the hand oh. hand out and broke at my elbows. You know, that's a lot of times people have hairline fractures and they don't even know it. Then they show themselves with big weight. That um, probably was a compound fracture, was it, Matthew? That's scary stuff. Mm, scary. Yeah, when that happens. Um, 
believe you me, uh, I always think about it, uh, you know, when anybody takes out a big weight, including myself, you know, I, I had a scare a couple months ago when Dan and myself got tweaked up. We were rushing things, and uh, I took out a 1,000 pounds. And I, I don't know. It was like we started at 430 on Tuesday Tuesday uh, afternoons, our max bench. And by 5 o'clock, I was at 1,000 already. So I was making 200-pound 200, 200 jumps, you know, 7 to 9, and then at 1,000. And I was going to do a double there and hurry up and get to 1,100. And I hit the first 1,005 off of two boards. But uh, on, on that rep there, I kind of pushed it back, and then I came right back down again. Uh, the shirt locked up, and it started to drift back, and nobody was taking it. They didn't see it, obviously. And, oh, my God, I thought that was the one that was going to take my arm. And uh, scary stuff. And yeah, um, really scary. Yeah, we got, I, got, I got a warning uh, wound that day. But, um, yeah, Dan and I, we got uh, banged up pretty good. So we don't rush anything anymore when we're – going heavy so a lot of times and i'm sorry to say this but we show up at 4 30 we want to be out of the gym by seven that's really long enough for us but a lot of times the, the main max effort movement uh with takes adequate so it takes so long like we start at 4 30 and then yeah people going up that, to 1100 yeah it's it's like 6 15 then we get done it's like shit and then everybody's pretty wasted too by then you know they've done 900 they've done a nine fifty thousand thousand fifty whatever the case may be so a lot of times there's like um there's no golden rule that says we have to be out of there, but um, I just like to get the majority of the work done, not be at the gym for five hours and all that stuff. So some of my videos might be uh, a lot of max effort looks and uh, one one tricep exercise and a push down. So I don't want to think like we're sandbagging at all, but uh, a lot of times, um, especially that last, that reverse band press we did recently, after we got done, we walked over and I looked at Heinz and I was like, man, I'm... I'm beat. And he goes, I'm beat too. And I, and it was just like, one of us had to make a decision to like start something. Otherwise we were going to do push downs and go home. So I opted to do a, I think we did a uh, Hoff presses with the can the uh, easy curl bar. So yeah, so somebody has got to say something. Otherwise um, I can be pretty uh, persuaded to walk out of the gym too. I'm tired and you know, it's exerting when you do that type of weight, that heavy weight like that partial movement or not. It um it takes it out of you, man. It really does. All right, where are we at now? John Elick. John Elick. Wrap material strength is determined on two factors: type of rubber used and number of strands per cluster. Rubber strands are clustered in two, three, four, or more strands per cluster. Increase the number of strands per cluster results in a stronger wrap. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, I wonder like how many, how many uh, strands are clustered in the APT ones that I use. Have no clue. I'm curious. All of those uh, are made overseas. I take it those shirts and whatnot. Are they all? I don't know how. I don't know anything about making yeah. shirts and and all that stuff. But it's interesting. Well, here would be the person to ask. John Elick knows what he's talking about. Yeah. Got the expert on the. On he the makes the engine, and I, I drive the car. That's how, how kind of we work together. So Matthew Brooks. Oh wait. Yeah, Master Brooks. Damn close to it, like the bones were poking out of the skin, but they did not actually break the skin. Thank God. Oh. Yeah, that was like Cody Plums. Oh, they were they were poking against yeah, the skin, but didn't come out. Bending the wrong way. I hear you. Fuck. I still have that video on the on my home screen of this I computer. It. I it's I can't I, it. I can't I cannot watch it. I don't want to watch it because it haunts me, and it haunted a lot of us for a couple months. It uh, everybody that took out like. And 900 and whatever it was, 905 or 900 was like a jinxed number. Anybody that went, like, we went, we always go 895 and then jump to something. We never stopped at 900 because it's like a jinxed number. Uh, Matthew yeah. Brooks, one more and we're out of here. Matthew Brooks, I tell my guys not to be afraid to take it in training. I'll just do another set. I prefer to keep my limbs attached, you know? Hell yeah. Fair dude. enough. Yeah, no, that's a good way of looking at it. You can always reset up, try it again if you feel like you can safely, but there's no, I'd rather be on the safe side for sure, for sure. It's always better to be safe rather than sorry. Yeah, that one time I, I was getting ready to do 1185 on the reverse band and I picked up Heinz's shirt, which is like a three ply. It's a shirt I, I wear, but I was like, no, I need, I need, I need beefier shirt, so. I'm going 1100. I want something that's going to be able to handle that kind of weight. So sure. I just got to press it. That shirt needs to lower it for me. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Looking forward to this. Well, I hope everybody has a happy, fun uh, Halloween. It's yes. a Monday Halloween, which is weird. Well, we should have asked like what people are dressing up as and doing. Well, we should that should have been asked that earlier. Then we could ask those questions. Anybody got any exciting plans or cool costumes they're planning? A lot of people go to parties and whatnot. I'm I'm just uh, I like to hand out candy and then I don't hand Watch out a lot of. I, I'm not really giving when you come to my house. I give. I, a, see with the, the I want a lot I of leftovers. Too much. Cause I want to eat candy. I want, enough. you know, I buy all the Halloween candy that I like. So if there's leftovers, yeah, peanut M and M's, Reese's peanut butter cups, all those yummy little things that can that can be munched Milky on throughout ways. the week. Great pre workout stuff like that is just uh, very delicious. Milky Way, Snicker bars, and I like the fruity ones too. I like only one I don't like is Almond Joy. Not a big fan of coconut almond in that one. Excited. I like I'd eat it, but I don't get excited over it. No. I usually like take the almond out and then just eat the rest of it. If I, I mean, I don't usually eat them, but Kit Kats. I like Kit Kats too. Kit Kats are okay. Butterfingers. Yes, Butterfinger bars. The yep. little Hershey's bars. Yeah. Um, we need to get some candy. Cookies and cream bars. We need to get candy. Quit talking it. All right. What's Matthew Brooks here say? Thank you guys. Hope you all have a great night. You too, Matthew. You Thanks for too. joining us Thank tonight, man. Jo Thanks for hopping us. in here and uh, being a part of Bench Monster TV. Oh, we never figured out the football game. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know who was playing, but somebody was out there, oh, yeah, and uh, they played football, and we uh, always have it during the football time, which it's sucks. Tonight's, what's the date tonight? It's the 27th of October, Thursday, Bench Monster TV night. So it was the Ravens versus the Buccaneers. Buccaneers, Brady got it, probably. Uh, no? It looks like it's not a final yet. Oh. 27 to 22, Buccaneers have possession, fourth quarter, 49 seconds left. Well, I think they got it. I think they got it too. Brady thinks he has it like one more time, but I don't know. But he enjoys playing at yeah, ninety-five I mean, years old. If you still him. enjoy it, and you're still kicking ass. Like, keep doing it. Oh. As long as you're still having fun. And well, we'll be back next too. week, and we'll have a great max effort passion. workout to show you. Hopefully, we have some big benches and some exciting lifts. And uh, until then, yeah, you guys have a. Have a great rest of the week slash weekend, everyone. Good night from CJ Morgani. You too, CJ. Thank when you. When do we for turn the clocks us. back? Is that coming up soon? I don't know. Are they going to do that? Are they still doing that? Yes, they always do it. Because I heard some weird stuff about how they're going to like do it differently. Like they're going to do. Well, it they change it. We used to roll the clocks back earlier in the year, but now they, it was. they did it later for the farmers and whatnot or something. Something about it. Well, it gets dark at three thirty, and it gets there's never any light, so this is the perfect time to move south. Snowbirds do that. That's what we do. Head to Texas Head to or Flo warm, Florida, Florida or uh, Florida would be fun. Southern Cal. Go down and hang out with uh, one okay, rap and AJ. Yeah, that, that'd be fun. That's yeah, it's warm. Do, yeah, sure. get get out of here. Let's do it. Just let's, avoid let's winter all the way around. Bag it up and we'll go. Stay there all all winter, and then we'll. You can tra train down there. Yeah, there's lots of good places to train. Like you said, with AJ and one rep. Done. Yeah, what more? Done. Yeah. Figured out. All right. Okay, guys, we will see you next week. And uh, Thank you so much for joining same us. Place. It's always good to see everybody. Same time at yeah. Bench Monster TV. Riff, this is Raph. Raph, Riff. We do it. We have rock a, the show. Have a great ending to your week and an awesome weekend. And Send me videos, please. Enjoy Kick your, the your Halloween. Start the week off awesome with a fun Halloween. And have a great week. And we'll look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday next week. God bless everybody. Good night. Have a great night.